right here on EA TV. Well, the stage is truly set for what should be a terrific night of football here at Anfield. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Derek, should be a good game this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot, fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Jan Oblak starts in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? And a fine tackle. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. PK starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Coutinho. But it can't get through. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Liverpool were the victors in the last game against Fulham. How will they fare this time, Lee? Well, that win was a goal fest. Goals all over the place. Not so sure they're going to win today, though. I'm predicting a draw. Well, the hosts have been lethal in front of goal this season, but will they meet their match? I say that because their opponents have the best defence in the league. Well, as the cliche goes, Derek, an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. One side is going to come out the victor. Hopefully, for our sake, we get an entertaining match with some goals. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Must take the lead here. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Raja Nainggolan. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Rodri. Now Nainggolan. Gaia. Moving the ball effectively. Rodri. He takes aim. Uh, completely misfired with that one. A long way off target. Yeah, but it goes in the top corner and your hero is worth an effort. Van Dijk. Laporte. Now Mo Salah. Coutinho makes his way forward. What next? Takes aim! It's still alive! And the keeper has custody of the ball, but just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, keep hold of it. Have a breather, because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap. Chance to run at them. It is to be a throw-in. Really closing him down and dispossessed. Well, that is annoying for any manager to see your own player giving the ball away from a throw in. Gaia. Well, possibilities in the centre. De Bruyne. Douglas Costa. Mastery of the passing game. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And a throw in forthcoming. Oh, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Laporte. Fabinho. 
This could be dangerous if he's not careful. Tries to lift it. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. As we can see here, it's great play. They force a mistake by pressing really high up the pitch. And when they win the ball back, just look where they are within striking distance of the goal. Great stuff. Laporte. Virgil van Dijk. Coutinho. Failed to keep hold of it. Gabriel Jesus. Let's see if something comes of this. Well, that is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he's had an absolute nightmare there. The goal's in front of him. Just hit it. Let's go to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the Spurs match. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 21 minutes played. 1-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Chance to cross. Is it going to be? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, a second goal for them here. Salah. It's with Roberto Firmino. Can he convert? And still danger here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. De Bruyne. They might be able to get in now. Ronaldo Silva. Douglas Costa at the ready. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down. And he's very, very unlucky. Andrew Robertson. Wijnaldum now. Well, pressing really high. Roberto Firmino. Fabinho. And he's broken free. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. And as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Bernardo Silva. Keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Joao Cancelo. Oh, nice ball over the top. And Bernardo Silva has it. Not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. And news of a goal at St James's Park. Let's get the details from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Newcastle United. 30 minutes played, 1-1. Cheers again, Alan. De Bruyne, Rodri, might be a chance here, that's excellent defending following the cross. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And he read it well defensively. And the counter attack is on, options available. Well, they profit from this situation. And he's made headway. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Corner awarded to Liverpool. But he's gone short with it. Goal has been scored at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's find out more about it from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester United. 34 minutes played, 2-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. 
defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Didn't look great in possession then, Coutinho. A Liverpool free kick coming up. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Francia Nainggolan. Bernardo Silva. The ball with Rodri. De Bruyne. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. It just needs to remain icy cool. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. De Bruyne in the centre. Applying vigorous pressure. Gabriel Jesus. Well, here's the replay, and the passing move is almost unstoppable. The movement is key for me. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. Andrew Robertson. Liverpool have given it away. And important for him to remain calm. It is advantage Manchester City here. Not giving him a moment's peace. Well, City controlling possession. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. Gaia showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Getting in there to take it away. And Nangolan gets himself into the advanced position. Well, they have the ball in a very promising position, but now it's been taken away from them. Salah. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? An effective pass by Coutinho. And now can he keep calm? Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Off the frame of the goal earlier, but now the keeper has it and can exhale. David Seaman always said the woodwork was his best friend. Certainly helped the keeper out there. Coutinho. And blocked by Piquet. Rancho Nainggolan. Do they mean business on this occasion? Tremendous challenge. And that will be all for the first half, and Liverpool find themselves behind at the break, Lee. We would normally say that a team will be... So back in business with City very much the dominant side. Can they repeat that in the second 45? Douglas Costa. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Costa with it. And teammates to play it to. Gaia. Now Douglas Costa. And he read it. Well, based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think he can think anything else after that challenge. Clattered away. And it's a chisel pass to Douglas Costa. It's been whipped towards the near post. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And the timing...
to get this spot on. Yes, it needs a bit of luck, but boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. Well, they've decided to make a change. And the advantage is with City. Ronaldo Silva waiting in the middle. Well, clattered away. And I'm hearing there's been a goal at St James's Park. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for Newcastle United. Has eyes for goal! And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. To confirm, Newcastle United have scored in that match. And they hold the Aces presently, leading 2-1. Coutinho. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Committed challenge. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Liverpool facing Manchester United. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always real chance. Clean through he was then, but he's fluffed his lines, Lee. Well, he just put his head down, Derek, and hit it. He's got to do better than that. Substitution for Manchester City, coming off the pitch. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Coming onto the pitch, number 36, Marco Verratti. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Foden. Douglas Costa. City know that wide area is really opening up. No nonsense clearance. Gaia. Over the touchline for a throw in. Now he must favour the cross. Textbook defending inside the box. And space here on the flank. And crossed towards Roberto Firmino at the back post. Not punched away by the keeper. Henderson, and now Rashford, did well to win the ball back. And a throw-in forthcoming. Rashford, and pulled back. Well, let's go to Alan McAnally, because there's been a goal in the Arsenal game. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 61 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Oh, great vision. Bernardo Silva. Joao Cancelo. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Struggling to get it away. Can they hit on the break? Coutinho trying to open things up. Firmino, the break that time was excellent, not so much the finish. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? The move, the counter-attack, and then all you needed to do was finish it off, and they couldn't. Well, no let-up, plenty of pressure. And news of a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Let's get that news from Allen. It's a third goal for Manchester United. 65 minutes played, 3-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And that's going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And the attack fades out. Verratti. Gaia. The ball with Rodri. Foden. Nice looking pass. Bernardo Silva. 
Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Well, he can consider himself admonished, even in the absence of a yellow card. Alexander-Arnold. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, surely. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. The referee is given a corner. Going short. Effective challenge. So, 20 minutes to go. Bernardo Silva. And the advantage is with City. Joao Cancelo. The ball with Rodri. Every pass hitting its target. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, just listen to this. You can really sense the frustration around the stadium. They've been poor today, far below their usual standards. They're just allowing their opponents too much time on the ball. They have to press more. Rodri, now with Raul Jimenez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And giving the ball away. Well, let's make no bones about it. This is a thorough thrashing, Lee. Well, the team mark for Liverpool out of ten for me. Five, I'm afraid. Not good enough. Disjointed, no cohesion. Work to be done on the training ground, that's for sure. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. They favoured a short one here. And deciding to cross, Douglas Costa. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And I think the threat has been averted. Firmino. He's in here. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So the current scoreline, 4-2. For Liverpool, number nine, Roberto Firmino. Rodri. Well, he played that one really well. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. But it's all turned a bit sour in this game for Philip Coutinho, and we don't usually say that, Lee. Well, if you don't get back into this game, his lack of real potency will be the key factor. Defenders have marked him too easily. They've been comfortable with his game today. It's not been enough of a threat for me. Alexander-Arnold. Takafusa Kubo. Potentially productive here for Liverpool on the flank. Gaia. Douglas Costa. Longley. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Let's go to Alan McAdally because there's been a goal in the Spurs match. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. And it might be. In it goes at the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Coutinho, and unable to keep possession. That's 
very effective, good high pressing. A City free kick forthcoming. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, unfortunately, we had to cut Alan McInerney short just then. Just to confirm, Tottenham did score in that match, but they are trailing 3-2. Still life on that one, however. City get the corner. And delivered by Bernardo Silva here. Not messing around with that clearance. It's a perfect challenge. And it's still on for him. Unable to keep the ball that time. Coutinho. Bernardo Silva. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Wonderful block. And only two minutes remaining here. An important interception. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Rodri. Kubo. Now there to intercept. Joao Cancelo. Now here's PK. And good pressure high up the pitch. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Coutinho. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Defensive efficiency personified. And there goes the final whistle. Not what Liverpool fans anywhere wanted to see. It's a defeat for them late. Sometimes you get days when things just don't go to plan. Well, this lot went to the next level. They didn't even have a...